So how did you discover your ability to communicate with animals? How did this come about? Well, my my dogs literally started communicating with me uh, after I had um, two full careers. And I got this urge to uh, go in a completely different direction into massage. And then from there, I, I learned energy healing and during my energy healing training, um, my dogs showed up and and sh- started communicating with me. And what was most interesting is the two that showed up first had passed on. They were in the spirit realm. Hmm. And um, my first dog that came in was Timmy, and he was he's a great dog. He he was a um, a street dog from Hawaii and um, we picked him up when we were stationed there and, and he was he he traveled just like a Navy dependent should he's he'd been all over the place hmm. and uh, but he passed away here in Virginia and he was sitting in in the dining room and now he's passed away right but it looked like my dog Timmy full full guy can't see through him. He's sitting there one, I would say one ear up and one ear down, big grin. And he's looking at me and I, I, I'm catching him out of the corner of my eye mm-hmm. as I'm doing dinner. And I turn and I go, Timmy. And he and he leaves. He's gone. But it was real. I gotta tell you, it was real. And and clearly. The communication was not like, let me tell you my life story, but it was, mom, I'm still around. I survived death. I'm happy. And I wanted, I just wanted you to know, Mm. (laughs) I love you. I love you still. Uh, And so that he was the start of my saying, what the heck? And I had some others. Let's see. It was really fun. My dog, Eddie, who had also passed, she accompanied me. Now she's passed, so it's nobody can can sense her except me. Mm-hmm. She accompanied me on a plane because I was going to a an annual meeting where I was going to staff it. And you know... If you've gone to anything, well, if you're staff, you got to be happy. Mm-hmm. You got to be smiling. And I, I'm in I'm in total grief because I we just let her go. Mm-hmm. And so she was sitting in the aisle next to me. I I didn't see her, but I felt her presence so strongly that I was petting her. And, and I always laugh and I think, I wonder what the people on the plane were thinking, you know, mm-hmm. and like. Who is this woman? She there's nothing there, and she's moving her hand like this, as if she's petting a dog. Because that's mm. what I was doing. And she stayed with me, um, and came and stayed with me that first night when I didn't have to actually go do anything, and let me just experience my sadness and feeling her loving me anyway, comforting me so that I was able to get up and do what I need, needed to do for the rest of the meeting. And it was just awesome. Mm. And that's what a gift, right? So, um, and we had- Do you like what you just saw? Watch the full video now and make sure you like and subscribe to see even more great videos from me.